fortunately, I've never been one to masturbate to myself, so I've spent very little time thinking about it at all. I just try to focus on whatever job I have next. I'm leaving school to study acting because this is what I want to do. This is my passion. They started to become more and more supportive, and now they're just happy. You know, they appreciate the novelty of it, especially my dad being such a fan of the Lone Ranger. Uh, you know, oh, there are great stories about certain actors who will pick up a script and go, "Where is it shooting? How much I get paid?" You know, I mean, that would be that'd be that'd be the life. Uh, but it's you know, it's a combination of how's the material, who's involved with it, how's it make me feel, do I think I could do this, that kind of thing. Not really. I was just more excited than anything else. I knew we were in good hands. I knew I knew Gore was going to make a great movie. I knew Johnny was going to do a great job, and I knew Jerry was going to watch over it all and make sure it all went smoothly. So it seemed like a safe ship to bet on. So I think it probably depends on the actor and kind of which type of career you're going for. But you know, I mean, if you truly enjoy acting and you know that's that's why you love this, then you probably want to try doing different things. Uh, I do. Yeah. There's kind of things you take away from every project. Uh, this one was probably just had to do with work ethic. You know, it's hard work, but worth it. I think it's good. I mean, I think that I think that the world is a crazy place, and uh, crazy places always seem like they're in need of a good hero every now and then. So, well, he's 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 very interested in rational law through as a through line of the entire movie. But he realizes that the legal system that's been set up has completely failed him, and no one else is interested in sort of executing this law. So, he has to then take matters into his own hands. Uh, well, the paparazzi subculture is very interesting. Uh, I've never myself ever shown up and had people waiting there with cameras. It, I, it just, it's not a normal thing. I'm convinced that there's some kind of conspiracy going on where actors call the paparazzi or make deals with the photographers and stuff like that. Yeah, I mean, it, to me it seems, like a, it seems like a business thing and everyone's kind of like capitalizing on this business idea of, you know, my pictures will be in the magazine, the photographer gets this much, I'll split it with him, or you know, I at least get my pictures in the magazine, then I'll get more shit for free, then this, you know, it all seems like a ruse. I mean, look, I'm not gonna tell you I wouldn't like this to be the biggest movie of all time, but at the same time, my responsibility with this movie only lies between when the director says action and cut, so I'm done. Anything that happens after this point is just icing on the cake.